G'day everyone, welcome to part three of Socket Circuit Basics. Today we're going to be throwing in a socket RCD. So going back to part two, we added the single socket off an existing socket outlet. We were assuming there was an RCD upstream in the switchboard. Today we'll be assuming there is no RCD in the switchboard. Therefore, we'll be chucking in an SRCD or a socket outlet with an RCD built into it. With that in mind, when there's no RCD in the switchboard, the earth and the neutral will go back straight through an MEN link. So they'll be directly shorted out in the switchboard, which is what's been demonstrated here, just twisting the cores together. If you want to learn more about the switchboard side of things, go check out my video on switchboards. I'll have it down in the description. Since part two, all I've done is remove the socket here and made way to install the RCD socket. As in the previous videos, we'll strip these back about a centimetre and a half on each core. Now because we would be installing the socket at the same time, we would probably already know what side the line connection comes from. The line is the side that comes off the switchboard and the load connection is the connection that goes to the next socket away from the switchboard. We would already probably be able to establish what end is the load cable and what end is the line. In this video, I'm gonna quickly demonstrate how to resolve this issue if you didn't know which cable was which, because obviously, the wall would be completely lined with jib and you would not be able to see which cable end went where. Pretty simple test to perform. Throw your multimeter onto ohms and it should be on continuity which means that when you put the two leads together it will beep. I hope you can hear that. Now we spread the ends out and we're going to be testing between the earth and the neutral, so the green and the black cable cores of each cable to determine which one actually goes back to the switchboard. If you put it between the black and the green and there's no beep, that means that that cable does not go back to the switchboard and it will be a load cable going to the next socket outlet. If we test between the black and the green and get a beep, that has a line cable. So what we'll do here is label these cables because now we know what they are, we will need that reference for fitting off the socket RCD. So as you can see, after identifying which cable is which, I have labeled the line cable line and permanent marker and the load cable load. The next step we're gonna do is have a look on the back of the socket RCD. Now you'll be able to see there is a line in connection, which is the line side that we've just labelled. The one that goes back to the switchboard. We'll be putting the A, which is your phase. Your red cable will be going in there. And the N is for the neutral cable. The earth will go into here, but the two earths go together into this slot. So we'll be twisting the two earth cores together and screwing them in there. And then in these AP outs are the ones that go on the load side. So there's an in out here, which is your neutral, and the AP out is your active or phase out. So the red cable of the load side will be going into that one. So just to recap, we'll have the red cable on the line side up here, the black cable on the line side here, both green cables into here. We'll have the black cable in the load side there, and the red cable and the load side going out there. Now what we'll do is set these cables up. So the two green cores, we twist them together. And the other cores now, we twist them up singly and fold them over. If you had three cables here, one of them will be a line connection and the other two will be loads. So you would twist up the two load connection blacks together, the two load connection red cables together, 
and all the three earths will go together there. So that's if you had more than two power cables at the socket outlet. So these ends here are now ready to screw into the back of this outlet. Now this one's screwed in. You can see the line connection goes into the top two, the load connection goes into the bottom two, and both earths are together, which you can sort of see into the earth contact pin there. Now this one's ready to screw back to the wall. There is a couple of screw caps on the back of the fitting here. You can just pop off and use to cover up the screw terminals on the face of it. When you're installing, replacing, or upgrading an RCD, you must do an RCD test to ensure that the RCD is functioning as it should. Check out my video on complete testing of an installation, and that goes through the various stages of doing testing for RCDs with the multifunction tester. I'll leave the link down in the description for that video so you can go and check it out. Otherwise, same as before, two screws in there, and that one screws up to the wall. Alright guys, that is part three completed. Cheers for watching.